Name and Rain. <laughs> hey, I'm JS. Um, I've been shaping for too many years to remember now. I've done too many boards to <laughs> done peanut gallery. <laughs> 25 years, you reckon? How old am I? Twelve. <laughs> 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 I'm, uh, yeah, I've done a few boards and put a few bit, a fair bit of time in, especially into Hawaii, because I mean, a, a shaper from the Gold Coast is not exactly renowned for uh, coming to Hawaii and being, you know, making this style type of board. So, I certainly wanted to be a shaper that was an everything shaper. Um, wasn't just going to be renowned for making 6 2 boards for Snapper. Um, and love it. I think, yeah, I find it more. I mean, I make those boards kind of every day, all day, for um, where we live and, and, and most of the surf that we all surf. So, surf and uh, getting to make these and, and actually have them. Well, having someone like Joel or Luke or, or, or any of the boys, you know, come here and just and do what they do and and be really comfortable in riding this. I mean, in Bruce, like Bruce is a good example for me. Was the kind of a highlight where Bruce swapped from riding mainly Hawaiian shapes to just tractors. So it, it's pretty, yeah, it's unreal. It was pretty confident. And you touched on it, Jace, but you've obviously put a lot of people on the podium on those boards. Yeah. Um, Hawaiian to Aussie surfers. Do you want to kind of talk about? some of your favorite athletes that you've had on the team and you've been able to work with? From well, I mean, obviously, a big part of my life, I mean, outside of me, Joel and I are, are best mates and Luke and stuff, so we get to hang and, and that every day, all day. But, um, I mean, Andy, Andy Irons, Bruce Irons have been a big part of my life since, you know, the start. I think they showed a bit of uh, faith in me at the start of my early career and, and have been there, you know, have been there through and through. So. I mean, Andy was such a big part of my life and, you know, winning world titles on, on boards that I'd made from him, you know, short boards and that, and then getting to, like, this end of the year and, and relying on getting some track, you know, getting tractors and stuff like that. Um, I think that's, yeah, you know, I've had, there's a lot of guys that I've been, you know, make boards for all over the world, but, um, you know, Joel and Luke and Andy and Bruce and Ock, um, your core. Okay. I've been the core and they've been the core we've been together for pretty much ever. Well this is Parco's 7.4. Um, it's pretty much where he started, uh, well when Pipe first started it was like 10 to 12 foot, right? Maybe bigger? I don't know. Bigger so than 15. It. <laughs> it, was large. it was pretty large. It was large. It was pretty large so he started off on yeah, I'm pretty sure seven is a seven four, um, and it was perfect. I mean, these guys don't really. I mean, a lot of guys might want to take seven sixes, seven eights. I think I even saw seven tens out there. I'm Kalani. Oh, yeah, <laughs> Kal Kalani Chapman riding seven tens. But the boys are pretty fit, and and they like taking off under the lip, and they're not paddling in. You know, yeah, they're pretty much not paddling that much. So um, seven four was the first. Yeah, the start of it. What's the dimensions on that one for Joel? Uh, it's 7, 4, 18 and 7, 8, 2 and a half. Perfect. Yeah. Pintails, right. three fins, um, strong glass, strong stringers, and pretty much, I mean the boards, I wouldn't say were pipe specific because, you know, Joel loves surf and sunset and um, we kind of, do in betweeners, you know. I know that a lot of guys do specialty pipe boards, real tight tails, and real that. And um, I'm pretty sure that uh, Joel still likes to throw a turn in here and there and stuff like that. So, so would Joel ride that if you're surfing kind of big west ball at sunset too? Yeah, this was yeah, this is sunset as well. So they're pretty, they're pretty you know, when you when you start talking pin tails and, and and the dimensions that they're riding, they're pretty uh, they're pretty all round, you know, in big stuff. So it, it'll suit. Just again. Perfect. Right on. Well, when it stepped down, it went from 12 to 15, 10 to 12. Depends on whether you're Hawaiian or not. And uh, and and then as it stepped down, he and, and so did he. So he went seven to um, into those. I think it was the next day. Yeah, the next day when it went for that settled down a bit and got to that 10 to 12. So. Um, he went, I think he surfed about three heats that day, and each heat he stepped, he stepped down a size, you know, so 7-2, uh, started at 7-4, went to 7-2, um, and then ended up on this little puppy over here. So, 
Seven O Swallowtail, which is something that Joel wouldn't, I wouldn't say Swallowtails have been big with Joel, um, but Luke, if we get a chance to have a look at Luke's, Luke's got like 20 Swallowtails, that's all he rides, so Luke's influence has um, definitely shone in, in this one, and yeah, it made him a little Swallowtail, uh, Seven O. It's actually a copy of the board that he won Sunset on. Um, I think he won Sunset last year. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so um, he, he's probably won Sunset a few years actually off this yeah. one board. Yep. Um, there's a board, there's actually a board in his garage from about three or four years ago, probably the first time that was, uh, yeah, that ended up getting called Mr. Sunset after that. And, and that's the one that we've pretty much just been making for the last few years. A um, little bit of, little bit of V out the back of the tail just to get it rocking and uh, yeah it's what's what's the theory with having a, a swallow versus a pintail on big waves like that well me personally find that swallowtails have a, a real rail to rail rock mm -hmm. um, extended rail line so they do have that drive but also the little piece in the middle, and this is only me, I don't know if everyone else is the same, but as soon as I get on a small tail, I just find them really, they're quite, um, I wouldn't say loose, but they definitely rail to rail very easy. This is a 6.6 that he rode in the final. Um, we'd actually been testing this board out in, well, we went to Fiji, we kind of travel a fair bit, so, um, we went to Fiji earlier in the year and surfed power break, hung out for about probably a week, 10 days or something, and uh, had a couple of eight, you know, six, eight, 10 foot days at, at power break, which was pretty cool. And um, yeah, this was probably the, this is pretty much a short board for here, especially when it's like what it was. So the last day when it was four to six foot um, into the finals, this is, this is it. So he didn't punch it or anything after not winning? No, it, you know what, it's, uh, as much as he, he loves winning and that, but um, I also know that having, like, they're mates, yeah. they're good mates, so it's like going for a free surf, so it was whoever got the waves won and, and whatever, so there was probably more, there was more, more people on the beach stand and who would have liked to have won and who would not, you know, yeah. but um, at the end of the day, when you look back at it, like for Kieran too, he he was the best surfer from the start of the event. Yep. Start of the event to the end of the event, all the way through. Yeah. So what he went, the heat scores, the whole thing was amazing. So he uh, a real deserved winner, as much as Joel and anyone who goes in it loves to win. But um, yeah, he you know no no. No punching. He looks after his boards, actually. Joel, <laughs> you don't see Joel freak out too much, and uh, so which is yeah pretty cool for me because I don't get too beat up. <laughs> well, we've been working. I mean, half of his quiver, half of his quiver <laughs> is wet, and um, half of his quiver was has been this five plug setup, and we've been doing a lot of stuff with quads. Um, you know, having them. The, the choice of riding it as a quad or uh, three fins and um, he every like if anyone had seen any of the footage from Luke walking down the beach with boards he the board that he chose was well, obviously three fins but he had a quad set up as his backup if anything went wrong so um, he surfed a fair bit this year riding them um, I mean he rides we make we make fins, kinetic racing fins, um, and we do a lot of work and testing with those fins. And he, at the moment, he's been riding uh, his Parco fins in the front, and then he's been riding a set of AI, the new AI fins that are out, uh, his AI front fins in the back. So two, pretty much two front fins, no 50-50s and stuff, just flat sides. Um, and he's been, he's been into it. He's been loving it. I mean, the quads just give you that much more speed. Um, when it's perfect barrels and that, it, it's, I mean, even to the point where sometimes they're too fast. But, um, you know, when it's pipe like it was and, dra and he's dragging his ass and, and it's a quad and stuff like that, it, the, it's so easy to slow yourself down because it's got all his body in the water. But the moment he lets go, the speed that those things have is, yeah, it, it's ridiculous. So he's, he's been into it. It's what are your feelings on those for, for smaller stuff, maybe when you're surfing back home and it's snapper and it's maybe head high? 
Well, I mean, snuffer can be, you know, multiple multiple ways depending on how much sand and stuff like that. But if it's behind the rock, um, there's some footage of Joel riding this green board, um, and it was a quad. It's a little 6.0 quad, um, and the thing just for straight line speed is ridiculous, you know. But uh, I mean, we've been working a lot on on the, where these fins, where your back fins go, um, whether they're out on the rail or in closer. Um, really has two different feelings. You can either ride it like that's, there's twin fin or then you pull, pull them in closer and there's drive. So depending on what kind of style of board, you know, we're making small wave little four, five twos and stuff like that, that where you're putting them out on the rail and you're getting that real nice slidey, you know, fun sort of surf, two foot stuff. But I mean, these things are set in a little bit closer, gives you a lot more drive, a lot more hold and a bit more predictable. You know, I mean, Kelly's told us all this. You know, yeah. it's, it's not anything that it's not anything that I'm making up. It's just, but there is definitely little increments within it as to set it up how it feels to a certain individual.